Welcome back everybody to another video. I wanted to say thank you real quick to all the new subscribers uh, that have joined the channel over the last few weeks. Um, I really appreciate that. It's been pretty awesome seeing the number of people following along. Uh, it's kind of cool to see that there's a bunch of other people out there that have a lot of home projects going on and stuff like that. So anyway, appreciate you. Thanks for following along. I'll be wiring up a GFC outlet as well as wiring um, downstream GFCI outlets, which is called GFCI Protected, but it doesn't actually have the little test and reset buttons. Um, so follow along on the video today, that's what we'll be doing. All right, let me show you the setup that we're working with today. This is gonna be the bar area. And right here is where the sink will be. Depending upon your uh, county or your township's codes, Mine actually requires any outlet that is going to be within a six foot area of where the sink is. They have to be a GFCI or GFCI protected outlet. So that would make me having to do one, two, three, four outlets. This thing sucks trying to focus down here. What you're going to need to do is the you have a line side and a load side of your GFCI outlet. I'll put a picture up in here and kind of talk through um, what it looks like, but the line side of the GFCI and GFCI protected outlets goes to the power source, which is back at your um, power panel. Then you have the uh, ground attached. Then you have the black, which is the hot side, will go in on one end, which is on the line end. And then you'll have a um, then you'll have the neutral, which is the white wire, also going in to the line side. Any of, the sh any of the plugs that you want to be downstream of that, that you want to be GFCI protected, have to come out on the load side. And it's clearly marked on the actual GFCI um, outlet itself. I'll point it out here for you in just a second so that way you can take a look at it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to have the initial box a GFCI outlet, and then three downstream plugs will be wired just like any other regular outlet. And those will be GFCI protected, and they'll be on the load side of the GFCI outlet. So I'm gonna walk you through all that today. It's actually not that difficult. It sounds a little bit more complex than it really is, but let's get into it. This is the GFCI outlet itself. The one that I'm using right here, is the model SGF-15. And it looks like all the other ones you've ever seen, so you got the test and reset button. So when you're wiring these on the back, you'll be able to see in here, there is a line side and a load side. Now these have, um, they make it so you actually just take the little wire and press it in through the little hole like this, right? And then you actually screw it down on the end. But let me show you how this works. And I, I got a couple of pigtails here so I can kind of explain this a little bit better. But this is how this works, all right? If you can actually read this, if I can get this on here to focus. But right here on the bottom it says line, and then the top says load. So right here says line, this says load. This right here says hot, which is the black wire, and this side is the neutral, which is white. All right, it's really straightforward. So you wire this up a little bit differently than a normal outlet uh, based upon whether or not you have any downstream GFCI protected outlets. This is how you do it. You're gonna take the wires that come from your power panel are gonna go in like this. They're gonna go into the line side, which is on the bottom. This one is on the black side, which is called hot. And this one is going to be on the white side, which is neutral. And then you're going to have, then you're going to have your um, ground, right? So these ones will go in just like that, and they'll get tightened down. Now, if you only have one wire, or if you only have one outlet, then you're done. That's it. That that outlet is completely finished. If you have any GFCI protected outlets that you want downstream, the wire that you have going to those downstream ones then get plugged into the top. In a normal outlet, you have all these wired together and then you just have 
you have these all wire nutted together and then you have one lead coming in and out but on this one if you need you need to utilize this internal mechanism here to actually uh, sense any ground faults so what you'll do then is you'll have the second wire coming out of your outlet box will be plugged in this way all right it'll still look kind of like this these two wires on the bottom are line side they the black and white these ones are the ones that are going to your power panel the top side which is the load side the black and whites are going to be going to your next outlet the ground is tied off just like you would have any normal ground so you would have both of the grounds on both sides wired together with a crimp and then you'd have one lead coming in to the bottom of this all right hopefully that makes some sense you'll see as, as i'm wiring it all up together it all should make a little bit more sense as we go through i know that this one is the first one in the series because this is the one because i wired this all myself so the one of the wires coming into here goes all the way back to the panel and it, I know it's the one that's right here on the right because I brought it in from the right because then that's the closest direction to the panel. And then this is the one that goes over to the next outlet, which is here. So the way we're going to plug these in is this hot and neutral coming from this wire are the ones that are going to go into the line side. These are already tied together, so this is going to get tied into the, the ground. This hot and neutral, which are in this, which are in that wire, that one is going to go into the load side. Then any other plugs that I'm going to wire up, which are going to be this one, this one, and this one, those will all be GFCI protected solely because I put these two wires in on the load side. Let's put them all together and you'll see what I'm talking about. Here's my outlet. Bottom side, line side, top side, load side. So I'm going to be putting these two, the ones that are coming to the power panel, or coming from the power panel, are going to go into line side. Then these two that are going to all the downstream GFCI protected outlets will go into the load side. All right, I'm just going to time lapse it and zap it all together and then you'll see when we're done. Line side is the bottom, load side is the top. All right, now let's take a look at this one. You're gonna need pigtails, because you're gonna wire this one in just like you would wire in any other outlet. Definitely a lot more difficult to manipulate, I can tell you that. Alright, that's it. Last one in. Now we can just test them all out. Alright, I just flipped the breaker on. And as you can see, we have an LED on. So one, two, three, four, I just wired in. And now I got my tester. Now we can test it all. So let's hit the reset button. That light goes out. And let's see what it does. Nice. The two lights on says correct. That's what you want. These two lights right here. So we'll check it all. There's our on. Up here. Those are correct. That one is correct, and that one is correct. All right, so now what we want to do is, now that we've got our things wired properly, 
we're going to go back here and we're going to test that the GFCI works. Alright, so we got that plugged in and we are going to hit the test button and these lights should go out, which it does. So that tripped and that is now off. Perfect. Okay, reset that. This light should come back on, which it does. Perfect. So this is a GFCI outlet and these ones are now all GFCI protected even though they are a regular outlet. Here is how you test that. I'm going to test all three of them. So the first one, so this little tester right here has a GFCI button. So you push that button and it actually will send a little signal to trip this guy. So I can so I can test that this is actually GFCI protected by clicking this button. So let me do that now. All right, so that's on. Let's push that button. And you just heard this trip and that light is now back on. All right, so that's now reset. And that is now back on again. So that's how that works. All right, let's test this one. That light is on. Okay, it just tripped it. Let's hit the reset. And then that light just came back on. Perfect. Now, last one. That light is on. GFCI tripped. All right, I will reset this so you can see the light come back on. Oops. And the light came back on. Perfect. The GFCI outlets actually come with these little stickers that say protected outlet. All right, all this list of stickers. So I'm actually going to take this sticker and apply it right on here. Apply it right on here so that way I know and anybody inspecting it knows that this is an outlet that has GFCI protection, just like that. That's your last step. Now you're all done. All right, so there you have it. That is how you wire in a GFCI outlet with GFCI protected downstream outlets. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, follow along, and I'll see you in the next one.